This video is very hard to make. It took a while to find the right thing to prop the camera on, but I thought this might be a fun demonstration. I have a glass with some water and um, gouache pigment mixed. I, I mix some black and brown and blue. Um, and I used I used the toothbrush splatter on something else, which I'll show at the end, but I had this left over. And these music notes that are pen and ink illustrations with watercolor, um, they were actually done for another project I'm working on, and I've scanned them so they'll be used on the computer. So I really don't have a particular use for the originals, and I was as I do with many things, um, thinking of uh, shredding these into like little shapes to use in a collage or something. But I, I shredded part of one and it, it didn't shred well with all the white space. I was thinking of adding paint, but <laughs> to use this up, I'm thinking just splatter it. I wonder what's going to happen here <laughs> if I just, um, I don't know if you can even see. It just might, and of course I'm going to have to clean my bathtub right away. I just thought it might make an interesting background on it. Oh, see what I was doing on the other thing? I was, I was shaking it. I, don't know if you, <laughs> I was trying to find a technique. I'm going to have to go back over what I did on the other piece. I was a little hesitant. It's a house portrait of a house in Florida and the, the foreground is filled with crushed shells. She told me in particular they were not, it was not rocks. I mean, that's like what it looked like to me at first. So I'm trying to build up a texture on that piece. Um, using salt into watercolor. Um, sometimes that does not really give the textured effect I would oops, expect. Um, it really has to do with how wet, how dry when you add the salt in, how much pigment. Um, I do experiment with that. Sometimes it turns out well, other times I don't get much of an effect, so I was continuing to try to texturize that. And I do have a couple of big blots on that watercolor portrait that I'm going to have to um, cover up later. I'm going to let it dry first. But anyway, um, I've got my supervisor cat here. <laughs> That looks gross. That's that's oil. It's a uh, it's turmeric oil <laughs> and uh, St. John's wort oil. I uh, I experimented with that for inflammation. Um, but yeah, Marley's watching all this, wondering what I'm up to here. Yeah, I propped my camera on a rock, and this is this is what I've got here. Basically, a mess. I don't know. Um, can add other textures to this and then shred it, keep it for collage. I just hate throwing original painted paper away. So in here um, is what I was working on with the house portrait. So I put a towel over it. I was trying to splatter I've got some big blobs there, which uh, I'm sure I can get rid of them somehow. It's just not not yet creating the kind of texture I want, but this isn't bad. Um, uh, I don't know. This is the, the reference photo here. And if you zoom in, you see the all the shells. Um, I might compromise this piece a little bit with some water, um, acrylic paint later. 
I'm just going to leave it for tonight and think about it. Yeah, I got some pretty heavy blobs there as I was trying to use the toothbrush. I've, I tried to flick just the toothbrush with the white earlier and, um, I don't know. It just, it's a, it's a difficult technique to do on this kind of thing where you want to control it a little bit. Actually, there's some nice texture in here. Um, I used a fan brush also and dabbed at it, but then I lost a lot of my shadows. I can bring those back later. Um, of that. I feel like with this house portrait, most of the, the work is actually on the the background and the foreground, I think. Um, a lot of times it's like that. I think the, the background of a, a piece sometimes is more important as the setting than the house itself. Um, it's a pretty simple house. Got another house portrait in progress too. and. Uh, just a million other things at one time. Anyway, what do you think, Marley? He thinks I better clean the bathtub out right away. <laughs>